Residents of Old Fadama are appealing to government to give the community a facelift. Our reporter Joseph Armstrong returned from the area a few minutes ago and has the following report. It's 10 p.m. already and uh, this is the access road to Old Fadama where the fire swept through the buildings here. Currently, you can see people who used to stay here are no longer here because they can no longer sleep here. But looking from that distance, uh, some people who are seated there, let's find out from them if they are the occupants of these buildings that has been destroyed by the fire. Uh, what was that to say? Okay. So I'll talk to a few of them and then find out why they are sitting here and they are refusing to go find a place to sleep. Now, uh, Papa, it is a... You speak English? Yeah, I can speak English. Okay. So, why are you, why are you here? Because I don't have any place to go. Because mm. I'm sleeping here. Do you have your room anywhere here? Yeah. Where? That's here, inside here. Okay, so that, that is your room. Yes. Also destroyed. Do you have any friends you can go and hang around with? I don't with? have any friends. No. I don't have any Where are you from? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Northern region. Which part of Northern region? Pandai. Pandai. And then you don't have any other place. Okay, so I can see a lady here too. Let me talk to this lady too and find out. Now, you two are you from? Um, Pardon? Yendi. You are from Yendi? Yes. Oh, okay. So, um, tell me, where will you be sleeping? You better hang. You better be Now, you better be there. You better be there. You better be there. You better be there. You better be this is a real situation here at Old Fadama after fire and got this place. And this resident you see lying here until Sunday afternoon had a place that they sleep after I had this work. Unfortunately, after the fire incident, this is where they have to sleep till tomorrow morning. I spoke to some of them earlier on when I was here and they told me apart from this place that they've kept some properties, they have no other place to sleep. All they are calling for now is to be swift in bringing the relief items they promised them. The resident you see here until yesterday evening this place they use as a place where they sleep every day. Unfortunately, the fire that engulfed this place has rendered them homeless. Mommy, it is saying. Now, who don't go? I say, I don't go. 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 I It's rather an unfortunate situation here where the residency here most of them i spoke to tells me they don't have any place to resort to but to sleep are the rooms that have been destroyed totally by the fire that engulfed this place sunday afternoon and several of them i spoke to tells me they don't have any place to go to and they are going to sleep here once again on the government be swift with the relief items they promised them this is how the situation is going to be, and this can lead into other issues. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News, Old Fadama.